but he saw I need a chessboard. Now to make a chessboard we need a lot of squares and to get a lot of squares I've got a chopping board in brown and one in beach that I got from my local store for three quid each. So what we need to do, cut these into lots of little squares. First thing, cut them into a lot of little strips. <laughs> I've got a whole load of strips, now I need a whole load of squares, I'm going to use this saw, I've got a block in there, set to the right position, all I've got to do is that. There we go, and then I have 64 squares, 32 of them are actually 3 centimetres by 3 centimetres, or 30 millimetres by 30 millimetres, and they'll make the centre. The edge ones you want to round off a little bit, and of course the pieces at the edge, so you make those a little bit bigger. These ones are in fact 30 millimetres by 36 millimetres. So that long edge is 36 millimetres, that's 30 millimetres. The two, four corners are 36 by 36. So when we fix all those together, we round off the edges of the board, we'll end up with squares of 30 millimetres by 30 millimetres. Now all we've got to do is glue this together. You need to glue it together with something pretty serious. And of course, Gorilla Glue, glue does an awesome job. So all we do is glue them together. But if you try to glue them together as one board, you're probably going to get into a bit of trouble, so you actually glue them in strips. So we glue them together like that. And then make a nice strip. Now, this stuff holds together really well with masking tape. So all you do is put a spot of glue on those and then mask them together. Little tip for this, that's a bit of angle. It's a bit of aluminium angle, and if you... Um, Glue the blocks together in the angle, you'll get it nice and straight because it's kind of like a helping hand. So a bit of glue on there and then into the angle, squeeze it in and down and it'll fit together rather nicely. And when you've given the glue time to go off, you just peel off your masking tape and you get a strip of blocks. And all we then have to do is glue down that edge and put those blocks together to make our chessboard. After we've given it a little time for that glue to set, and incidentally notice I put weights on it so that it would stay flat. So the glue is set and we can take off our bits of masking tape. And all we need to do now is sand it. So after a bit of sanding, and I say a bit of sand, a lot of sanding, that's what you get. And it's finished now apart from the finish. And of course there's a load of finishes you can put on. We could put varnish on, we could put oil on. For me with something like this, then oils tend to yellow it and varnishes will scratch. I actually just like to put some wax on it. So I'm going to wax it and then we'll put the chest set on and see what it looks like. So there it is, all set up with its Doctor Who chess set, which we made in an earlier video. Anyway, I love it, but I'm still going to give it away, so watch out for that video. Thank you very much for watching this one, and please do remember to like and subscribe.